Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. When I got into 3D printing, there were only a handful of printers out there, so it was really easy to choose one. But nowadays there are hundreds of different models to choose from, so in this video I'm gonna show you what you wanna look at and what you wanna think about when buying a 3D printer. Now of course one of the limiting factors for most people is gonna be cost. Not everybody that has four grand to blow on an Ultimaker 3 Extended, but you also don't wanna get go too low as if you go below like three, four hundred dollars, especially if you're a beginner, you're gonna have a lot of headache trying to get the printer to work and do what you actually wanted to do. Now, another factor that you might think you already know what you want is the build plate. Now, of course, having a bigger one always is good, right? Uh, you have more possibilities, you can print big things, and that's amazing. But what you have to think about is that if you print something that's like, I don't know, like 25 centimeters big, then it's gonna take multiple days for that to print out. And it's gonna use a lot of material as well. So on my first printer, I had a build plate that was 20 by 20 centimeters and I could print 20 centimeters high and not, uh, not once did I use that full space. The biggest thing that I printed on there was maybe like 10, 15 centimeters. And now I have an even bigger one with like 30 by 30 and 40 centimeters high and I never used the whole build plate because it just takes forever to print something that big. And if you're making something this big, then 3D printing maybe isn't necessarily the best option. Now, if you know that you're gonna be printing big stuff, you wanna print big bases or, or like models or whatever, then go ahead, get a big printer. But most of you are probably gonna be fine with a build plate of like 20 by 20 centimeters. As printing models that are bigger than that just takes forever. A different factor that you may not even think about is how popular a printer is. If it's just a no-name printer from China somewhere, then you probably don't have very much support and help online. You have to make your own profile for it and if you ever want to upgrade something, you're gonna have to model your own upgrade part. But if you are picking a printer that is really popular and everybody's talking about, then there's a big community around it that makes profiles that you can download for your slicer if there isn't one included with the printer and there are many parts that you can download to upgrade your printer and maintain it and people are talking about it and that makes it a lot easier. So it is worth to go with the popular option even though there might be a less popular option that's cheaper but sometimes it is good to just go mainstream. Also more popular printers often have better software and while it seems like who cares about software Software is actually a really big thing. Not on the software on the printer itself, for most printers it's the same mostly. And you just put in your SD card or USB stick and print off there. But having support like printer profiles for your slicer is a really big one. Especially if you're a beginner, you don't wanna have to tweak your own printer profile for your first print. You just wanna hit print and it works. And lastly, there are also a lot of like, comfort features that some preach printers have, like automatic bed leveling, where it touches off the print platform and you don't have to level the bed, it just does it all on its own. Or other features like having dual extruder or Wi-Fi connectivity. And one thing that by now most printers have is a heated bed, but you definitely want to make sure that the printer you're getting does have a heated bed, as it really makes your life a lot easier. So I hope that this video helped you find what kind of printer you want and will help you make the decision. And if you already have a printer or you just made a decision, why don't you leave a comment down below saying what printer you have or what printer you're gonna buy. I'm interested to see that. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Also consider to subscribe and you can check out affiliate links and my social media links all down in the description. So thanks for watching and until next time.